my beauty's big sister channel don't mind my very very bare face but i am going to an exciting event tonight so i thought i'd kind of take you along with me do a little get ready with me um i've got all my makeup in front of me i'm gonna go straight in with my bare minerals prime time brightening primer this is my favorite primer of all time um, so yeah, I'm going to uh, the Breast Cancer Care, the show tonight. It's all about raising money for breast cancer awareness and Dorothy Perkins are sponsoring the whole event. So I am going with them, which will be really, really fun. I'm just taking this Bobbi Brown spray, dampening my beauty blender, then going with my trusty foundation. Obviously, because I am going to an event tonight, I'm going to be taking pictures and whatever. I definitely want to use products that I know I love. So I'm not going to be trying anything new in this video. Um, this is all just the, the products that I am loving right now. I have spoken about this foundation like a million times, but it's my fave. So I went to the Dorothy Perkins store yesterday on Oxford Street and picked out an outfit for tonight, which when I first walked in there, I was a bit like, oh gosh, what am I gonna wear? <laughs> um, because there was a lot of work wear in there and obviously I wanna be dressy for tonight. Um, but then I spotted this beautiful black, like satin play suit. It looks like a gorgeous blazer, but it's a play suit, it's like silky black, so I will show you that in a minute, but yeah, I'm so happy with my outfit. So at least I haven't got the, the stress of finding something to wear in a rush, because as we all know, I'm always running late. I feel like my skin is looking good at the minute. I kind of went back to basics for a while, just stuck to my E45, and I feel like it's kind of got it to a good place. Tie my hair up, is this distracting? Let's put it up. <laughs> so how is everyone doing? I know that I haven't done like a kind of update video since I've been in my new flat. Um, but that's because I basically, oh that looks gross. How can I do this to make it look cute? Put it on top of my head? Does that look cute? I'm not sure it does, but we'll stick with that. <laughs> Let's go in with a little bit of concealer. So this is the Nip and Fab concealer which is so good like even though this is a drugstore i just love this like i'm getting to the end of this now actually i've used this a lot i feel like i allowed myself quite a lot of time to get ready but pretty sure i'm gonna be rushing <laughs> blend that in with my beauty blender again and um, so yeah sorry got sidetracked i know i haven't done a flat video since i've moved in but honestly, I've hardly bought anything yet. I've hardly been here. Like, I've been away. I've been working loads. Um, I'm so happy with my chandelier. That is something that I will show you in a minute. I'm buzzing with that. It looks so gorgeous. Um, but this weekend, I am going to go home shopping. So I'm going to head to Home Sense. I'm going to head to Ikea. Um, and really start getting things. Like, you just don't realise how much there is to buy for your place like when you move in like there's so much that I still need to get like I wrote a big list because like there's just so much to get to make it homely like rugs and throws and cushions and mirrors and clocks like yeah just so many had furnishing bits that I need to get right let's go in to this little palette I'm going to prime my eyes first with a decay primer potion and then, I actually have only used this palette that I'm about to use like a couple of times. This is the packaging of it. It's called the Born to Run palette. And it's all like vacation vibes and the shades in it are absolutely beautiful. So you could definitely do a really colourful look with this. But I am going for more of a nudie type eye just because I want to go more classic tonight. I mean, to be fair, I kind of always go classic but because I've got like a black tuxedo style play suit on that's quite like classy um, I just want to make this 
really really glam this is a really nice shade so this is called weekender i think um decay has to be one of my favorite brands for an eyeshadow palette like i actually just rebought the naked heat at the airport when i went last time because that is a palette that i use all of the time like i could 100% use that palette every day of my life and never get bored because that palette just has all the shades that I absolutely adore. I know it's quite backwards that I do my eyeshadow after I do my foundation but it's just the way I've always done it so I guess you get into a kind of routine and I always forget to do my eyes first. Like, I understand the logic in it and I know I probably should but yeah. I've got these new brushes from Iconic and I love them. They are so gorgeous and fluffy. Blending that shade out. How is everybody doing? Please let me know in the comments what you've been up to. Thank you so, so, so much if you bought my OPI collaboration. Like, I'm so happy with it. And your feedback literally means the world. So thank you so much if you did buy it. If you haven't, then check out my video to see what shades are in there because it is a beautiful collection, if I do say so myself. <laughs> I'm taking the shade called Riff. This is a beautiful brick shade and we're just layering that up okay i'm going to take that same shade underneath the eye here i do want to make my eyes quite dark for tonight so i'm going to go into this really deep brown called punk these are all matte shades i used so far i might go in with a bit of glitter i'm not sure we'll see how i feel so just taking that more into the outer corner here I have now not got a holiday until, well, I really want to go away for New Year because me and Sunny always go away for New Year. Oh my God, that's quite dark. Because I'm chatting away, I'm just like, oh yeah, underneath the eye. Okay, let's try and blend that out. What I do if it comes down too low like this is I just go back in with my beauty blender and just neaten that up. I really want to go away for New Year. I'm not sure where we're going to go yet. I'm kind of thinking maybe... Dubai or Mexico because normally we go to Europe and it's freezing cold and I just still have to deal with that right now. I'm taking the Becca highlight in Champagne Pop. This is such a good highlight so I'm taking a more detailed brush and popping that on the center of the eye. Center? On the inner corner of the eye right here on that brow bone there. I'm obviously always on the hunt for new makeup, so if there is any makeup that you really want me to try or review, then let me know. I'm gonna do my brows. I might go back into my eyes after, we'll see. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna do my brows with this Nip and Fab eyebrow pencil. This is in the shade Ash Brown. I do normally use my Benefit one, but I've completely run out of my precising my brow. This is a really good pencil. It's just a bit, it kind of than the Benefit one, but it is a lot more waxier, which I do like. Kind of reminds me a little bit of the Benefit Goof Proof one. If anyone is like looking outside their windows now, they're gonna be like, why on earth is that girl filming herself right now? I just put on my Instagram story, I washed this dress, which I should have actually seeing if it was hand wash or machine wash before I put it in the washing machine. But yeah, basically every single gem, or pretty much every single gem on the dress has come off and it's all at the bottom of my washing machine, it's all on the floor, literally they are everywhere. So fun times for me, clearing that up, completely ruined my dress. So annoying. But I am quite impressed with myself because that is the first washing foul I've had. So yay, go me. <laughs> brows look massive. When I don't use my precisely my brow, I just end up with huge brows, which not really my thing. Just take a little bit of my concealer. We hate that when you're going around the brows and you get a bit of concealer on your eyebrow. Does anyone ever do that? Or is that just me? <laughs> the sun's come out, which is great, but it's definitely gonna have change the whole lighting. I'm gonna go in with my 24 hour, what's it called? Brow Setter from Benefit. Now I only like to put a little bit of this product through. If you put too much on, it literally looks like you've just like glued your eyebrows and it's just not a good look. Going with mascara, I'm taking the Dolce & Gabbana. I think it's called Intense Eyes. Just 
taking my Laura Mercier powder to set all of this in place. This is the translucent setting powder. Um, I have been trying the glow one out recently, which I love. So I'm going to pop that on as well in a minute, but I just really like to pop this basically all over the face to set my makeup and then the glow one to add the radiance back into the skin. This literally is just the best setting powder ever. Now to go in with the glow. So this one is a lot more radiant. This is the brush I'm going to use for it, which is the specific brush for it. I think it's called the glow brush or something. It's got like pearl pigments in the formula. So it just gives you a really beautiful sheen. I like to use two different like bronzers at the minute. So I'm taking the Benefit um, Dallas with my Hula brush to really warm up the skin. This one I kind of put on not in a defined area, but then my Hula is a lot more cool tone, so I use this more for contouring underneath the cheekbones and then also either side of the nose here as well, just to kind of contour that. You're much better off doing like a a hula shade rather than a Dallas for this because you don't want an orange nose. <laughs> favorite, favorite blush right now is the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk. I popped this in my testing video the other week and oh, I just love it. It is perfect for someone like me who doesn't really like blush that much. So I'm not really a blush kind of girl. I don't like bright pinks, I don't like bright corals. Um, but for me, this is just like a really gorgeous rosy flush. Then back into the Becca highlight. Can you even believe that we are in October? Like, where has that time gone? It's crazy. If you want me to do like Halloween makeup looks, then please let me know in the comments. If you want to see that, I'll do it. If you're not bothered, then I won't. So let me know. Again, I've popped this in videos before. I have no idea what brand this is, but this is a brown eyeliner. All of the packaging has actually wiped off, so I'm not able to see where it's from, but it's really good. <laughs> I'm going in both water lines on the upper and lower lash. And then the lip products I'm gonna use is the Bobbi Brown Art Stick. Love, love, love this lip product. A beautiful, chunky lip pencil. So it's really quick and easy to apply, like you don't need a mirror to apply this. This shade is bare. And then just to add the glossiness to the look, I'm taking the Rimmel Oh My Gloss in Glossy Cat. For a drugstore lip gloss, this is beautiful. It's not sticky at all. It's a very, very buttery lip gloss. I need to do my hair. Set that all in place with my M Decay setting spray that so I'm now gonna go and do my hair you're gonna come with me how beautiful is my chandelier so obsessed with it I got it from Wayfair and it's so beautiful I'm really really pleased with it definitely gonna get some more bits from Wayfair because their service is just so good I've never tried the sour squashes but now I'm obsessed <laughs> okay I've changed cameras to my little camera so hopefully the quality is okay um, but I'm just doing my hair, so I'm decay for the heat. I've had this for forever. Like, when I say forever, I mean forever. Um, like, literally since I was at Dare. And it is such a good smelling heat protectant. What I'm doing is curling my hair really quickly. Because I've not got long. I've got 40 minutes until I've got to go. And I've got to get changed tidy up and walk to the station which is not fun that's literally just the way i curl my hair i find tongs just too much of a faff it takes me too long ghd stylers is where it's at i literally do it all in the same direction um for a hairstyle like this because i want it to all be kind of early together i'm gonna pop in my extensions in a minute just pop that section of hair up here um back home in this section to put my hair extensions into. I am still using the Lula Bells extensions and it's the one where it's literally just one strip 
and I absolutely love them like oh, I wear them every single day just such good quality they are human hair and um, but where it's just like one strip it's so much easier to just quickly put it in your hair and go so yeah I pretty much use this every single day the most annoying thing ever is that one of the clips what one is it is literally like snaps so annoying but i have got a lot of use out of this extension so i don't think it's a reflection on the quality um because yeah i do wear them like every single day and maybe it was just the way i took it out i don't know but i'm gonna see if i can get like a clip to buy and then just sew a new clip in because that would be really good but luckily it's not really affecting it at the moment it's still holding up fine so for the minute, we're still good. You can see my actual hair is a bit curlier than the extensions, so I'm just gonna go over the extensions quickly. This is my outfit from Dorothy Perkins that I was telling you about. It's such a beautiful like satin kind of material blazer play suit. Um, and then these beautiful diamond T buttons here. And then these are the shoes that I'm wearing. How beautiful are they? Such a gorgeous play suit. Don't mind the mess in my room. Um, it is very booby though, so I'm not sure how I feel about that. But I love, love, love this play suit. Add an absolute mare. I thought it would be quicker to um, basically get the tube rather than getting a cab. I was so wrong. Like, legit went to the wrong station. <laughs> Had to then get back on the tube, go to the right station. I know, but it's been like a 15 minute walk, so. Why are you killing me? And I'm also really late. it was amazing to be around so many like courageous women they had like a catwalk show with all the women who had and men who had survived breast cancer and it was amazing i definitely want to support breast cancer awareness in general like so much this month obviously october is the month of breast cancer awareness so i will be doing a video of all the products that are raising money like limited edition products that are raising money for breast cancer awareness charities last night was for breast cancer care and they're all about supporting women and men going through breast cancer through the whole process and also after in recovery as well um which is amazing because obviously it's such a traumatic thing to go through so yeah it was a really really lovely evening loved my outfit from dorothy perkins like that play suit i'm gonna get so much wear out of i absolutely love it um but yeah i hope you enjoyed this little vlog if you did then please like and comment below let me know what you've been up to and i will see you in my next video bye